This one was definitely the don't blink variety. Stephen McGarry set Saints on their way to the biggest win since 1961. A good strike from McGarry and no sign yet of the disaster about to befall the Clyde Bank defence. The second was every striker's dream. The tap-in from two feet. Barry and Levetti obliging. The defence doesn't look too clever as Basher, well, bashes the ball over the line. By the 26th minute, things were getting serious. Saints looking to overtake Dunfermline at the top and no mood to let up. And Ian Ross supplied the finish against a static visitor's defence. After recording their first win of the season in midweek, this was turning into a nightmare for Bankies as well as their trialist keeper Ben Pleavy. Hugh Murray allowed to indulge in some keepy uppy en route to number four. And certainly keepy uppy is beyond the Bankies who are heading for Division Two. There could be two divisions between these teams next season, and there was a huge gulf in this meeting. Here's number five, and after his tap-in, Lovetti with the strikers' second favourite situation. By now, Stevie Morrison must have been wondering if he would have been better keeping the goalie's jersey. Goal number six was a shocker for the Bankies' back division. Ian Ross with a decent ball in, but the defence have to connect. They didn't. Hugh Murray did. It's all too easy now. Still two goals to come, Scott Walker makes it 7-up and the Saints players drinking in the applause. They weren't finished either, Tom Henry believes the title could come down to goal difference and he was looking for his players to take full advantage. Levetti finished off the scoring with a personal hat-trick. It could have been more, you know. Stephen McGarry with the best of the rest. He's out of luck, and just for once, a Saints move ends with the ball in the arms of Cleavey. St Mirren with the eightsome. It's Clyde Bank who are reeling.